Coastal tall grass prairies are really important for lots of reasons. They're really diverse systems and also they're really important to humans. They do things like mitigate floodwaters when we get big storms in the areas. Now there's only one tenth of one percent of them remaining and people are really interested in restoring them because they are so important. People have generally focused on the plants in terms of restorations and how these ecosystems function, but things like insects are really important because higher trophic levels like birds and mammals, they eat the insects. So if you don't know what's controlling the insects, then you don't know what's controlling lots of things in the ecosystem. We are interested in particular in how nutrients affect these insects. So one of the things we're doing with the STEM Catalyst money is looking at how the gut microbes of grasshoppers that are really important herbivores in the system change in relation to the nutrients. So we're dissecting the grasshoppers, extracting the DNA from their guts, and then sequencing them to look at what microbes are contained within the guts and how those are changing relative to the nutrients. The microbes that live in grasshopper guts, you might think, well, why does that matter? They're actually really, really important. One, because grasshoppers can be pest species and we spend billions of dollars trying to control them. If we can understand how they process leaf material in their gut by understanding the microbial communities, that's really important information to know in terms of their management. Another thing that we're interested in is this invasive species of ant. We know they're completely decimating the insects that are in the litter in the soil, but we don't know anything about what they're doing to the insects above the litter. With the stem catalyst money, we've actually gone to what we call an invasion front, and we're able to look at the insect communities to see if they're different where the ants are versus where they aren't. We have found that certain nutrients that people did not know were important to insect communities are important. So it looks like the grasshopper communities need both nitrogen and phosphorus, which we've always known are important, but also sodium, which no one has really looked at before. So we are trying to figure out now, and we don't have the data back yet, but are the microbial communities in the guts of the grasshoppers actually changing because of these additions of sodium? So we're essentially trying to understand the insect communities so that we can keep um, both these ecosystems functioning in a healthy way and thereby keep the human communities functioning in a healthy way.